Hey there, everybody. So playing uh, some Naruto Shippuden, uh, the ultimate ninja storm generations. And uh, as you can see, I've uh, been unlocking a whole bunch of this stuff around here. It's been an all right game. Um, I'm a Naruto fan, so I uh, have some really cool uh, videos, uh, some stuff that I know they actually did a lot of uh, animation for this game specifically, about 60 minutes, I think it was. And so uh, it's been cool. I mean, it's... Nothing necessarily new if you are a fan and you've watched uh, the cartoon series or uh, kept up with the comics. But uh, still, you know, it's, it's pretty cool uh, what they did. I will say I do miss uh, being able to explore the towns in the previous games. But I wanted to give you a little taste of uh, what this looks like. I've unlocked all the way to the tale of uh, Madara and um, probably butchering these names horribly. I do a apologize don't kill me in the comments but uh yeah so let me uh show you what's going on here So we use our magic conch shells. And ninjas got pissed. Oh my goodness, that fox, he's so cute. I want one. <laughs> he got wood. <sighs> So, as you can see, you typically have these really cool uh, intro cutscenes, all done hand animation that's pretty freaking awesome. And uh, then we go to these little tiny press A for these photo stills, and uh, then it leads into the game. Uh, so, the fighting has been nerfed a bit from the previous Naruto games. Instead of just, uh, you know, having to kind of memorize uh, the quote-unquote hand movements, which, you know, you're using the analog sticks... Uh, to do those kind of hand movements, they've made it uh, easier for casual gamers. So there is definitely a give and take here. Uh, as kind of more of a core gamer, I liked having memorized the, the hand movements. Uh, I, I thought it added, especially when you did multiplayer, then it kind of added some more skill in there. Um, but now, actually, in order to do a special move, all you have to do is uh, the Y button, or I'm guessing also what would be the uh, the triangle button on the PS3. Uh, you just have to tap that, like one time for a normal move, special kind of move, twice, and then three times is going to be like your ultimate move. And you just need to make sure you have enough chakra for the move you want to do. So yeah, it definitely makes it a bit easier in that kind of regard. Um, but you'll see. I mean, there's still a little bit of strategy involved, but they definitely made it uh, a lot more... Uh, you can pick it up and play it, especially if you're just a casual gamer, instead of having to memorize all these different moves like you did back in the day with Mortal Kombat and whatnot. So right there, I just pressed Y three times, and then A, just made sure I had enough Chakra. Now just building it up. Yeah, this guy just throw that shit. Mm. Oh, oh no, no, oh, God, come on. <sighs> Fly like an eagle. Come on. Yeah, that's right. Suck on this. Eagle fly. Yeah, as you can see, you can just spam the crap out of it, though, especially if you're used to that. You're just like, oh, eagle time. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. I'm whooping ass. I'm, I'm so talented. I just pressed Y like three times, and look at that. Gar's dead. Well... Wow. Not dead, but that's pretty much how it is. Uh, you know, one button led you to uh, substitute 
uh, four times until that uh, replenishes. You do have block and that kind of stuff, but it's, the controls are pretty simple. Um, for me, so it's, I mean, it's a good fighter game. It's decent uh, enough as it is. Uh, ooh, hey, for Piggy. Uh, I, I do know how to spell, really. But other than that, I mean, I think the only drawback to this game, the big major drawback, in my opinion, is... I mean, where's the town? I really loved being able to run around the town, and I like getting all those stupid little collectibles and whatnot, so... I don't know, this game, um... I typically don't like the rating system <laughs> as a game developer myself. I, I would say, for Naruto fans, give it a look, pick it up. I mean, I, I go through pretty much through Gamefly for everything, so I definitely... It's a definite Gamefly uh, rent. Is it a buy... <sighs> If you're into a lot of uh, fighting games and Naruto is your thing, then definitely. But that said, if those two things, if you're not really fully aligned up, I would totally say it's a solid rent. Um, anyway, this is the uh, Spawn Point Podcast. Thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, till then, happy gaming. <laughs>